Well, welcome back to Monster Train. It is. Uh, I'm just going. I'm. I'm in the. I'm in the zone. We're in the home stretch. I don't even know how many episodes I've recorded. I didn't read. I didn't check. But we're back. We're back into the hell. It, we had our nice Exile Umbra, Exile Melting, Exile Wormkin days. Now we're back into the hell episodes. Oh boy, time to play Hornbreaker Prince. He's not the worst. Yeah, we start with Ritual Tiresome Clan. He's okay. Oh no, it's Hellhorn Stygian. I hate this clan combo. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hellhorn Stygian, Blade and Seal, Rage, Diligent, Ritual, Flash Freeze, Tiresome Climb. This is like actually one of my least favorite combos in the game. Definitely Lightstone Casing to buff up Ritual better. Oh baby. Oh yeah. No Brawler Prince. It's okay. We don't get too Doomer about it. Not gonna take anything that's too scary here. I can ping the five ones guaranteed, so I can take the unit draft. There's not gonna be an infused five one, so I'm allowed to take this unit draft. Oh my god, I drew both rituals on turn one. What a fucking nightmare. I guess it's better than drawing them on the last turn, so... I'll give it that. 31, he's gonna be... he has to get a kill, right? If my man doesn't get a kill here, he's going to die. That should be a kill, and then I flash freeze here, and those should be two kills. I should play a train steward, but I'm dodging the Ember Drain right now. Frozen Lance actually made it okay. Actually, uh, I'm not playing train steward because I want to put train steward in front of Prince for Relentless. Both rituals stuck together again. No train steward. It's an acceptable first combat. Very fast first combat, too. Uh, I don't need Ritual. I have Rage Scaling, so I'm gonna take the Armor in Welder Helper. This could be... This could be the unhinged run where I talk about Alpha Fiend for 20 minutes. I could play Alpha Fiend here. I'm gonna go Offering Token. Horned Warrior is fine. I think I actually... Hmm. I've just... I've played Cold Kalia Sweep Lines so many times, and I always lose. Universally, I lose. I don't think I want to do it to myself today. I just, I feel like it doesn't work. I feel like it's too slow in the early game. And I just don't like it. I'm gonna play Nameless Siren Infusion, probably. What's in the temple? Value Stone? Lit. I can actually go Value Stone Intrinsic Ritual of Battle, and then I can look for Holdover. I wonder how good that is. I'm not sure. I am going to give Horned Warrior a plus 25. I don't think I want to do the Intrinsic. I think I want to do the Infusion right now. Because I made the... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the Infusion. I'm just going to commit myself to it. And I'm going to focus... Because this is enough damage scaling. This should be enough pieces. Armor 10. Hornbreaker Prince farms clergy combats. He does so well. Wrathful Prince does so well into clergy. Usually. There is one issue, which is when he dies on turn one like this, but... <laughs> we'll deal. We'll deal. Could always put him behind. That seems kind of bad. I have been... He lives now. It's 14. It's okay. I'm gonna play Offering Token for the one rage. He's gonna die this turn for sure. There's no way he survives this, so... Oh, I'm just gonna lose the game. Holy moly. I'm actually just lost here. God damn. Just look away from that. I can recover this. I just have to play Welder Helper. That's enough. I could have taken less damage there. I thought I had some sort of idea that would make it be okay, but there was not. Now, the important thing is to not play Train Steward in front, because the boss has four spikes. And the winning play is Welder Helper, Tiresome Climb. Yeah. Now, I should not have played... I should not have taken 18. I should have been able... If I had thought about it a little more, I would have killed the the guy with with the, the the nine times two would have died to flash reeks but i did not think about it correctly i'm gonna take fortify i need any source of armor here it takes a village 
I'm going to take Crystallis. And I do not need a unit. Crystallis should help us get through this awkward phase, and now I'm just gonna go look for Holdover. I know I could look I could look for the duplicate, but I'm gonna look for Holdover instead. Yeah. Importantly, the reason we're doing this is because I also get Pyre HP here, where a Hellhorn banner sounds pretty useless. Pyre HP sounds like a great way to make sure I'm okay. Okay, the run's over. Okay, alright, cool. Times five, holdover, value stone ritual battle. Is it times five? Oh man, what if it's not times five? It's zero energy ritual. I can play as many of them as I want, but I don't live. I'm gonna times five it. It has to be good. It's just, it's a, it's a hit density problem now. I'm gonna go Divine Horde. Impsicle is good. This is a card that I can draw through the, through the times five. I think the best thing we can see here is Brawler Prince. We have so much rage i just need hits now no matter what i need hits and i need survivability everything else is secondary to those two needs ultimately it turns out that the nameless siren infusion wasn't good but you can't know that it's gonna look like this can you i would say no you cannot uh, it's fine for him to take time actually i'm gonna rage up the prince so that he gets a kill on the next turn 666 health on Daedalus. That's an interesting number. He gets a kill. We can play Fledgling him. And I'm just going to invest heavily in, like, Fortify. Any armor card they show me is what we're playing into at this point. It doesn't have... I don't have to play all five rituals. That's the thing about this. You don't have to play them all. And I also don't have to get hit by end backliners. I can ping them off without fear. Can parse this yeah like this is the sort of turn where you can just look at it i can play all three of them but i don't have to all four of them it's not necessary though I'm just doing it because i can it doesn't hurt me here but other times i'm going to see this be a problem there will be futures where i don't do that in this clip, by the way it doesn't matter i have a 250 times two i'm gonna you know I'm gonna play them out, because I want to see the number get real big, but... Yeah, that's not the, really the draw. So energy is not the need, it's definitely draw here. Reinforces, okay. I think re reinforce is okay. Alpha Fiend. I actually could pick Alpha Fiend here and just make the idea be that I'm rebuilding. Or I actually could take Cold Kalia. I wonder if that was the position to take Cold Kalia. Our rage scaling is so high. Oh man, I should have taken her. If there's a sweeper here, I'll pivot. Quick here. If there's a sweeper here, I pivot instantly. Oh. It's my bad. I should have I should have thought about it a little more. It's my B. Is there a brawler here for me? There is not. It's just a little... I don't have enough hits right now. Three attacks isn't enough for me. Well, because, like, the problem is that quick isn't enough, right? Quick does not make me kill enough, I fear. But maybe it's okay. Do I have to look for multi-strike, you think? It's hard to say... I'm gonna re-roll it. Yeah. I think I just need it. And then... I can duplicate self-infuse the imp, but I can't. I don't have endless. Armor 15. I actually don't like it. I'm at 55. I guess I could look for something involving tiresome climb as my plan. I should scale. That rage does matter, because you're not going from 1 to 0, you're going from 6 to 5. Ping here, ping here. I should have raged Hornbreaker Prince, so that he actually could get a kill there. Yeah, that's a mistake. Elder Helper on the field. I'm gonna torch it. 35, so he'll live if I play the Fudgling Imp in front. And then if I rage him enough, he will get a kill. 
And that's enough to keep him alive. 15 armor. I feel like Hornbreaker Prince just doesn't get the armor numbers he needs anymore. His, his Wrathful Path just doesn't have enough in it. But I have enough rage where he can kill one and then Horn and Horn Warrior can kill the rest. Ah. So it comes down to I just need a way to keep Horn Warrior alive guaranteed now. I don't know what it is. What a draw. I'm gonna end my turn if you don't mind, because the boss is taking 350 times 3. I'm gonna look around. We're gonna see what we see here. Transcend him? With Impsicle? Mm. Oh, Transcend him, and then I infuse the Welder Helper onto him. And then it's Cascading Armor. Oh, but it's but he has to go in front. He doesn't die. I don't have a way to kill him. I'm gonna skip this, but it might be wrong. Transcend him might have been the idea. Skip this. I'm just... The problem is that is the deck is very inconsistent what it's going to draw. Am I looking for a relic here? What am I looking for here? I really don't know. I just don't have a lot of money, but I'm going to look for a relic. I guess guild marker is fine. I think this was wrong, but an event or a relic, I'm looking for something to make me go, oh yeah, that's the idea. Oh, yeah, that's the idea. Umberstone. Oh, man. If only I could go back and take the quick. This run ends. Oh, what a tragedy. Umberstone's still very good. Uh, Umberstone goes on the prince is the thing. That's your answer. It's Trample Wrathful Prince. This is now a transition angle. We changed our whole game plan off of this hit. I'm glad I went to the event. I feel like the left path is uniformly okay like everything i get here is just fine but this is this is a sort of idea that i can now base the rest of the run around if invasion is good i can begin to piece all of this together now prince goes here i want him i do not want to play molting him i do want to play that here really. I just want to put Ritual on Prince. I think the cap is two Rituals on Prince, or two Rituals on Holdover, until I reach Trample Stone. No more than two. Hmm, oh, I can't get it anyway. No more than two on Holdover. Missing the Collector is a little bit of a shame. I'll be okay. No more than two. Now, did make a bit of a mistake here, a little bit of a misstep. If I don't draw Trample, I'm in a weird spot. Yeah, no. I have to hold over an extra one because of my ritual playing. I'm actually going to get hit. I don't have to play into this Trample idea right now. Yes, right? That's the thing. You don't have to play it into the Trample idea right now. It has to be Trample later on. It doesn't have to be Trample right away. Trample is very good, though, because it lets Prince do things like that. Killing whole floors is good. And now I just play a rage. Once he gets to a point where he wipes a floor, I can ritual the other one, but I'm gonna end my turn. I, this is now... I don't want to sit here and play meaningless rituals. The boss is dead, there's no doubt. I have 112 armor and I do enough to one-shot him. Maybe two. Two-shot him. Yeah. Fine. Numerically, I can't die there. Imp in the box doesn't help me. March of Shields helps me a little bit. It also slows me down a little bit, so it's a mixed bag, but I think we're okay. I'm gonna go right again. Intrinsic is a game winner. Big. Massive intrinsic. Umbrastone turn one, huge. I will give you... 10 HP, 15 HP. Jack strips is good. Taking damage shield off of that one on off of the damage shield wave is good because it helps me not get caught there, which can happen in this run. I can just get caught by that wave. I want to make tiresome climb cheaper. 
I'm gonna go minus one, minus one, double stack tires and climb. It takes four rounds off of the divinity of the packing, which is good. Now I'm at 65, I'm at 80 here, I have to take 10 and 10. Yeah, that's fine. I'll duplicate something for the packed shards and just stay lower now. I'm gonna take a take a water break as I've been on a little bit of a water crusade, especially in this longer form recording session. Sorry, the water just did not want to go down there. Holy moly. Fine. Fine. We just rage prince here. Because he has trample on turn one. I just let him get real mad. He is gonna get one tapped here, I fear. Oh no, it's fine. Hey, the dogs are gonna bark for a minute because there's someone. There's a package coming, so I'm gonna pause. I'll be right back. The barking has concluded. Let's continue. Where was I? I believe I was playing Monster Queen. Worried, but I actually have no reason to be worried because of Jack Strips killing all of the 15 times two or 15 two enemy attacks. All of the scary enemies are actually dead, and there's nothing to fear. Prince has Trample, Prince has Rage, he's gonna get... Any enemy... An enemy to damage me now has to do more than 15. Which I don't foresee. And we should just be fine. And then once he gets up another Wrathful, it's 25. But also... No, because of Trample, it's better to not go another Wrathful. Although I will die to mini-bosses right now. I do not do enough damage to kill a mini-boss presently. And also my opponents. We'll think about it. We'll see. The divinity's far away. I got other things to deal with here. What a great hand. Molting him, get out of here. You're ruining the screenshot. You're pretty goofy. Uh, I draw one card per turn right now. Oh, this does hurt me. Hmm. play a Queen's playing it'll at least drop 10 off. I want to play it slower, because I want to reach Reinforce. Oh, Reinforce isn't in here, never mind. thought I hadn't seen Reinforce already. I should just rage up the other guy, honestly, the, the Horn Warrior. At a certain point, I can stop raging up Hornbreaker Prince, he's fine. Eventually, 640 times 3 is better than 640. Last stand to just really go wild with it. Yeah, I'm down. I don't need energy, and I don't need space. I just need to draw more cards. I don't know. I think there's probably a trinket shop trinket that I can't think of that wins me the game here. Oh, like light skip. Wow. I'm right. I've gone in. This is one of those runs where I've gone into each of these and I've been like, I think there's something here that should win me the game. And then I see it and I go, oh yeah, that's what wins me the game here. Oh yeah, light skip. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that. Number 20 should be fine. Prince, I guess if I don't draw trample, it's a little awkward. I hope there's an intrinsic. If I get an intrinsic. Oh wait, I already have intrinsic. Sorry, I took a break in the entire run and left my brain. I completely forgot the whole run because I had to take a break while the dogs barked. My bad. I'm down to just Ritual five times on this turn. And then again on the next turn. And I will do it. If you're wondering why we're not doing this on Horned Warrior, by the way, the answer is that Horned Warrior does not survive easily, and it's hard for me in this run of Hellhorn to keep Horn Warrior alive because he's going to be sitting on the back line. So he's going to die to like spikes and things like that. I can't I can't consistently reach a self-infused Welder Helper or anything of that nature because I'm just playing so many holdover cards. And so... When you show me Trample and you show me Wrathful Prince, we can go, okay... I guess I'll take the W. I'm gonna go ahead and, like, in this situation, I hope you don't mind, I'm just gonna end my turn. Even if you do mind, uh, not much I can do about it. I'm already done. 
The combat's over. Tiresome time for the score. I didn't even check for the X. What if he won that? Well, he did, but what if? I'll take another Tiresome Climb. This deck doesn't have consistency. The consistency is in density. We have multiple answers to each problem. Importantly, we need to go left. I oh, don't need to go left. Actually, I didn't have to come here. I am here, though. I will value stone left, and... and instead of going purge stone, I'll just duplicate it. Rage 3, Golden Vault. I'll take Golden Vault and then take nothing else. I don't think... I, I've seen enough relics now. I don't think there's anything else I need. Where is it? Here it is. Better than purge stone. Uh, let's ride. I do not want the steel shop. Thank you for your concern, though. I appreciate it. Now, my spells will consume, uh, which might mean something. I'm not sure what. That already consumes. I would like to just ascend these two guys. I guess I didn't need to ascend with the King 3, actually. I could have double ascended the curse. It doesn't make a difference, though, does it? The fire chompers are coming in. I don't know how good they are, but they are here. Look at all this ritualing. I should be on pace now to just trample through everything. There are some enemies we want to watch for. Fire chompers. They're on. They're going nuts. Why are you gaining nothing? Oh, because you're not getting the kills, of course. Let me fix that. Oh wait, I was talking about this uh, again. The just the I, everything about the run goes out of my mind. We're gonna reinforce now because I won't see that card again. I have light skipped. There's nothing to be afraid of. This run is over. Nothing. The only thing that can stop me is the mini bosses on the divinity. And even that looks a little doomed when I'm at 5:30 already. 5:30 trample. I did just give up 25 gold for nothing. Play the curses first. Oh, I played four to five, of course. I was like, what card? I played a card already, because those don't have consume. What did I play? I played four to five. I remember doing that. I remember making that decision, yeah. Well, why did I rob my man? For what? 13, 12? I'm just gonna block my money from losing. It's however you want to do it, truly. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to, like, half health Seraph free relentless Because he was stealth. But I do have... What is it? It's 1,000 damage per round with 400 health. Another banger. At the start of this recording session, I believe I said something along the lines of I'd rather have these runs be 45 minutes and wins instead of 25 minutes and losses. However, I didn't think about the secret third option of... 25 minutes and wins. You're dead, right? Surely you're dead here. 94 damage versus 565 armor. Kind of close. So it'll depend entirely on how fast I draw the first last stand. as And, and also, if I draw Ritual on turn 1. I've just taken it for granted that I draw Ritual on turn 1, but I guess I could miss it. We'll see what we have here. No ritual on turn one, but a last stand. Well, well, well. This doesn't look great. Horn Warrior is not worth the one energy. I have to play the Trample Stone, surely. This could actually be a loss, now that I'm looking at it. With a draw like this, it could be over. I did not draw Tiresome Climb. In my mind, I was thinking I drew Tiresome Climb. I drew March of Shields. Okay, we won. Never mind. I take back any any amount of fear you had about this run. Is put throw it out. Take it out of the window. Game's over. We won. Pack it in, boys. This last stand cashes us in. Oh yeah, 115. Yeah, that's the thing. You take a lot of damage with this prince, and he dies fast. You also do a lot of damage and full heal very fast. So 380. 380 is actually not enough to kill the Inquisitor, presently. 
All of these spikes are extra rage procs, though. I think each of those is what? Three rage? Five rage? Yeah, each every every enemy that Prince hits here is five rage. 85, 105, really? This floor has more than 500 HP? That's ridiculous. I could have played Reinforce, but I don't need it. I'd rather just save the HP, or the gold, I guess, in this case. Yeah, if I had drawn the second... Uh, if, if I had been able to last stand twice, this wouldn't have been any damage, but... I also have the Pyre HP I should offering token here. I have the, the Light's Gift to insulate myself against this. A lot of things have to walk by for me to die in this run. And it's just not going to happen. I think 744 is the point where I could say... I should be torching him actually for 5 rage. That's half a ritual. This is the point where I could say, okay, I can stop playing cards now. But also... Why not? Just convert the entirety of the divinity into uh, health for Prince. My survival line is clear. It's in here. Oh, Last Stand is in here. Wait a minute. Yeah, too bad. I forgot that Last Stand was in there. I should have played the other one. The other Impish Scholar. Oh my god, I have so much held over. And be I, have I have six cards held over, and I just recycled the deck. So my seventh card had to be Horned Warrior because of draw priority, so all those curses just didn't happen. Uh, he almost even lived. I think that if you were- the thing that I did wrong in this run was the Nameless Siren infusion early on the Horned Warrior, because without Trample Stone this run was kind of suspicious. I should have left myself open to a defensive infusion, not an offensive infusion. Something to really think about in the future, honestly. But Owen's a win. We high rolled Trample Stone. I left myself the opportunity to high roll out of a sticky situation, and when I did, it was good. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.